Hey Powerhouse Foundations, it's good to be back with you today. We're going to open up our session in prayer. So I'm going to hand over to Elsie who is going to pray for us today. Father, everyone let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you for today. Thank you for the day. Thank you for Powerhouse. Thank you for Powerhouse. Thank you for all the children. Thank you for all the children. Thank you for all the parents. Thank you for all the parents. Thank you for all the staff who take care of us. Thank you for the staff who take care of us. Father, we ask you, you, you bless and keep everyone. And keep everyone. Keep everyone. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your grace. We ask you for grace. We ask for your favor. We ask for your favor. In these hard times. In these hard times. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for everything. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Elsie, for praying for us. So it's that time in our session where we share with the people in our homes one thing that we're thankful for and one thing that we've enjoyed doing this week. So I'd love you to pause this video and do that right now, Powerhouse Foundations. Tell someone in your home what you've enjoyed doing this week and something that you're thankful for. Brilliant, well done. So I'm gonna share with you something that I'm thankful for this week. I had a meeting with some of the Powerhouse team this week and it was super, super fun. Obviously, we were super sensible. Well, maybe we were a little bit silly, as you can see. <laughs> it was a lot of fun and just made me really, really thankful for the amazing Powerhouse team who look after you, who love you, who pray for you, who create fun and, and exciting activities and lessons for you to do. So yeah, so that was one thing that I was super thankful for this week. We're gonna go into a time of worship now, so we would love you to stand on your feet and get ready to worship Jesus with us today.
I'm feeling good, good, good in a crazy way. God's love changed me more than I can say. Can't keep this in, I gotta let it out. I wanna tell the whole world that you love is spinning me round and round. Yeah, it's setting me upside down. I can't believe the way you love me more than I Awesome worship powerhouse, well done. It's so good to worship Jesus together and to lift up his name high. We might not be in the same room, but we can still worship where we are at home together and it's super powerful as we join our praises together. It's now time for our lesson, so I'm gonna hand over to Ife, who is gonna tell us all about how God made us to love. Hi powerhouse. I hope everyone had a really great week and that you got to loads of fun activities and interesting things. Today's lesson is all about love. But before we can really understand why that's so important as Christians, we need to know what love is. So, what's love? Love is an emotion that describes so many different things. It can be from loving your family and friends for who they are as people, to loving the things you do because you find fun in them. What do you love? Why don't you quickly think of three things that you really, really love? So now that we know a bit more about what it is, we can start to understand why it's so important. You see, God loves every single one of us. He knows who each of us are and he loves us entirely. But he also wants us to love each other and he wants us to love him just as much as he loves us. So now you're probably thinking, that's impossible. How can I love people who I don't even know? How can I love people who don't love me back? And how can I love people like the way God loves them when I'm not God? But what you need to know is that God created you for a purpose. And that purpose was to love. He created us in his image so we can get closer to God by loving the way he does, by loving everything and everyone. And that's what's so important. So now we're going to listen to a little story. And to help is my friend Dexter. Say hi, Dexter. So there was a shepherd and he had a hundred sheep. A hundred's a lot of sheep, you know. Well, one day, one of the sheep went missing. But you see, even though the shepherd had 99 others, he still went to search for that one sheep. Dexter's asking, why would he do that? Well, you see, the shepherd went looking for that sheep because he cared about every single one of them. And that one was just as important as the 99 others. So the shepherd spent hours and hours looking for that sheep. Eventually he found it. It was at the bottom of a pit and it was really scared and cold and it was crying out for help. The shepherd was able to rescue that sheep and brought it back to the 99 others and everyone was so, so happy. 
that story is actually really useful because we're like those sheep. We can get lost or stuck along the way. And God is like the shepherd. He helps bring us back home. You see, God's love is so big that he'll chase anywhere for that one person, just like the shepherd chased everywhere for that one sheep. And you know what we can do? We can show God's love to other people. And if other people are like that lost sheep looking for help or guidance, we can help them by showing God's love through our actions. We were created to love, remember? Jesus calls us to love, but that can be really difficult. So we're going to help you learn a few things that you can do so you can love other people and God. We can do this through worship. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Another way we can show our love for God is by praying. Would you like to say a short prayer, Dexter? Yes. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for my family and my friends and for helping me through these hard times. Thank you for loving me always. Amen. Amen. We can also show our love by reading our Bibles and learning more about who God is. Those were just a few ways you can show your love for God. But you can do other things like going to church every Sunday, well done for being here, or you could give your tithes and your offerings. There are so many ways to show that we love God, but God wants us to love other people too. And that can be even harder because unlike God, they're not perfect. Here's a short example of how we can show our love for other people. Dexter! Dexter! Where are you, Dexter? Why have you got Dexter? Because I wanted to Give have him. Give him back! No! Don't be rude! Doesn't he look like I care? What? Dexter? Dexter? Where are you? Shola? Yes? Why have you got Dexter? Oh, I just wanted to sleep with him tonight. Okay, that's fine. You can have him tonight. But give him to me tomorrow, okay? Okay. That's great. Go Thanks back to there. sleep. See, being kind and loving each other is really good because it makes everything so much easier. When I was nice to my sister, even though she took my favourite teddy, we managed to work things out. But when I was mean and horrible to her, she was just mean and horrible back and everyone was upset. There are so many ways to be loving towards other people. You can pray for them, even if you don't know them. If you see someone's upset or hurt, you can help them. You can be kind to people, even if they're rude to you. When you show love towards other people, they'll see the love God has for you and for them. So now we're going to hear the Bible verse for this week. Love one another. This is the message that you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. So why don't we say a quick prayer before we end? Dear Lord, thank you for today's lesson and for helping us understand just how much you love us. Please help us this week and forever to be able to show our love for you and our love for other people. And all God's people say, Amen. Thank you guys and bye. Dexter says bye too. Thank you so much for our lesson today. Powerhouse, isn't it amazing to know that God loves us so much. He loves us more than this. And because God loved us first, we can love others. So I wanna challenge you this week, Powerhouse Foundation, to go into your week and love others how Jesus loves you. I would love you to share the love of Jesus by simply loving others. We hope that you've had a great time with us today. We've certainly had an awesome time with you and we can't wait to see you again next week. Bye.